Here's a quick and easy asparagus chicken stir fry, which is worth for you to include it into your regular dinner rotation. I'm KB Kwan, I'm a Cantonese, and this is a typical Cantonese style cooking. All you need is asparagus, chicken, and some commonly available Cantonese style seasoning. So let's get started. It involves only two steps. The first step is preparation. That is to marinate the chicken and cut the ingredients. The second part, stir fry the asparagus and the chicken. So let me explain each step in detail. I prefer to use chicken thigh fillet, which has more fat content and it is more forgiving if it is undercooked compared to breast meats. Remove the skin and cut the chicken into bite size, about 1 inch length. And then place it in a mixing bowl. I use the typical Cantonese ingredients to marinate the chicken. What you need is to season it with some salt, pepper, some light soy sauce, which provides a savory flavor. You also need some sesame oil, which is relatively standard for Cantonese food. Add a half teaspoon of cornstarch, just a little bit of vegetable oil, Combine the marinade with the chicken. And then marinate the chicken for at least one hour. I've included the recipe in the description down below the video for your reference. While marinating the chicken, let's cut and peel the asparagus. Here are the steps to prepare the asparagus for stir frying. First, wash the asparagus under running water, then dry them with a kitchen towel. Snap the asparagus into two by holding the wooden end with both hands, and when you bend it, it will snap at a natural point. Remove the outer layer of the stem with a vegetable peeler. This method will remove the fibrous part of the surface, leaving the tender stem for cooking. I also use the same way to remove the fibrous surface of other vegetables such as choy sum and gai lan for stir frying. Cut the asparagus into 2 inches length sections. Short sections are easier to stir fry in the wok than the whole asparagus. Divide the stem and the spears as the stem takes a longer time to cook. Now, brown the chicken over low heat. Place a teaspoon of vegetable oil in the wok. Heat the oil until moderately hot, then add the chicken, followed by a few quick stirs. I prefer to brown the chicken separately because chicken needs a longer time to cook than the asparagus. Turn the heat to medium low and spread the chicken meat into a single layer. Then let it sear until golden on both sides. Once done, remove the brown chicken. Leave the remaining oil in the wok to cook the asparagus. Now it comes to the stir-fry part. You may need to add some oil if it is not enough. Add a teaspoon of chopped garlic to sauté until aromatic and slightly brown. Once it becomes fragrant, Add the stem of the asparagus and stir fry it for the minute. Season it with some salt and pepper. 
You need high heat to stir fry the asparagus quickly. The wok should have minimum water during the whole process to ensure it is done at a high temperature. My method is to add a tablespoon of water each time to keep the wok at high heat and keep it sizzled until the end. Then, followed by including the spears. This simple technique is quite important to generate the wok aroma. Once the asparagus is tender, return the chicken to the wok. Try to avoid cooking the asparagus for too long as it will lose its bright green color. The best way is to pick one to do a taste test. Give it a few quick stirs and flips over high heat and dish out immediately. This recipe is highly adaptive. You can use pork instead of chicken. My favorite replacement is using thin sliced pork loin. Alternatively, you can also use beef and add some additional scallion and ginger to saute with the garlic. Besides asparagus, you can substitute it with snappies, french beans, and these are all suitable items to cook in the same manner. You can also use a different set of seasoning to marinate the chicken. For example, you can use some sake, mirin, Japanese soy sauce, and some sugar to turn it into a teriyaki flavor. That's how I cook the asparagus chicken stir fry, and I hope you like it. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and give me a like. I'll see you again in some other similar videos on this channel soon, and bye for now.